Hey guys, Rob Boehner, producer at LiveX here, and today I've got an exciting product from Decimator called the Demon 6S. Now this is a six channel uh, multi-viewer that includes a couple of features that are pretty cool. I'm gonna get right into it. I've always loved Decimator's branding. It's got this nice red and black look to it that I've liked ever since I saw their poster up on the um, exterior of NAB a couple of years ago. Uh, so this is it. And all their products pretty much look like this. They are, you know, have this red look to them, and they all come with um, this orangish red uh, HDMI cable um, that looks pretty cool. And you can keep it separate. You always know uh, where this is going to because it's always going to the decimator. Uh, so essentially, this is this is the unit with all the I/O. Um, and we have an uh, SDI 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all with active loop outs, as well as two other configurable uh, outputs for the SDI. So if you're going out to a production monitor or something like that, with, or even a program return or whatever, uh, so you can have multiplexed or multi-view sources from uh, one up to six. Uh, it also includes an HDMI output to go out to a standard television or computer monitor or something that you may be using for your multi-view. Uh, it also has a locking power connector, which is really helpful. It prevents anything getting knocked loose. Uh, USB for firmware, as well as a GPI uh, interface for uh, tally configuration. This is the LCD menu. Uh, unlike a lot of the other Decimator products that support uh, cross-conversion and scaling control, the Multiview doesn't do that, but most of their other products do. So if you're looking for something that's like an SDI to HDMI converter or vice versa, that also supports scaling and horizontal vertical flip and stuff like that, you should check out some of their other products that we're gonna have some unboxings on those as well. So check out those videos at LiveX Production on YouTube. And also what we have with this unit um, that makes it a pretty good multi-viewer is that it includes audio meters on all of your sources. And let's see what else, what else is, is it got in here for us? So also in the box is your bits and bobs uh, as well as your power supply and your international power adapters and then the USB which you can use for firmware updates and stuff like that and then finally we have the manual the manual says that it supports up to 1080p 60 and it'll down convert down to 480i 5994 uh, you can load and restore custom layouts for your multi viewer which is really helpful it has audio ID overlay uh, supports 3G level A and B on the input and output. It has 26 formats supported in total, variable aspect ratios per quadrant. So you could have uh, 4x3 with 69 sources if you needed to, uh, as well as DCI format, I guess. It also includes uh, 30, so that's a 37 pin GPI connector. It's very important to get your pins right when you're dealing with like a tally uh, configuration. Sometimes you may order it, a GPI connector and you think, oh, well, maybe they're all the same. Well, there's, there's a bunch of different numbers of uh, GPI connector. That's a pretty big one. That's about as big as they get. So they're kind of anticipating that you're using this with a more uh, professional grade broadcast switcher as opposed to something that's a little more consumer grade that may have a smaller GPI uh, connection bracket. And it's very small, which is one of another, another one of its benefits compared to some of the other multi-viewers that may need to be racked or something in like an open gear frame or something like that. You can change the colors of, of the borders, uh, black, blue, green, cyan, red, magenta, yellow, white. There's also routing capability uh, in the sub menu that allows you to go through uh, using the buttons on here and route which source goes to what. So yeah, the audio meters has uh, different meter scales for AES, EVU, uh, VU, extended VU, BBC PPM, EBU PPM, DIN PPM, and Nordic. The audio meter also has bar and float or bar only or float only. 
Uh, other than that, that's pretty much all you get with the Demon 6S. Uh, it's pretty economical, so anybody who's looking to pick up a new multi-viewer and they have six or less camera sources, then I would definitely recommend this. You're going to need this for uh, any broadcast switcher that doesn't have its own built-in multi-viewer. You're going to want to split this out. You can also use this for your PTZ controllers. We tend to... Um, have our PTZ ops sit at a regular monitor with a multi-view of all of the PTZ cameras they're operating. Uh, that's another good use of this. But yeah, like I said, uh, it doesn't do any scaling or cross conversion. They have other boxes for that that are also pretty inexpensive. But yeah, I would definitely recommend this unit if you're looking for a good multi-viewer. Once again, I'm Rob Baynard and this has been another LiveX unboxing. Thanks for watching.